Hey, what's up guys? I'm Anush from AndroidRoots.com and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to enable multi-window on your Android M build. This video will go ahead and work with the Nexus 5, a Nexus 6, or Nexus 9. So here's my Nexus 6 with Android M preview build and I'm gonna show you a really quick demo of how it works and then we'll get started into the actual tutorial. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap this on this little square right there and we're gonna go ahead and say the top and there you guys go, you automatically have multi-window. So I have my messenger right there and I have my settings fully functional so I can go and go back and as you can see, all works. And I can go ahead and do it in landscape mode as well. So it works pretty well, but there are issues here and there. Just be aware of that. It's not a fully uh, stable build, but I think it's worth to try it out as it's pretty cool as multi-window is working raw on a Nexus device, which is pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and get started on how to enable multi-window on our Nexus 5, Nexus 6, or Nexus 9. So first thing we're gonna be doing is go ahead and power off your phone. And we're gonna go power it off. Okay, so once it is fully powered off, we're gonna go ahead and press and hold the power button and the volume down button, which will enter us into bootloader mode. So power and volume down, and you're gonna get to this green start screen. And once you do get to this green start screen, go ahead and plug in your phone via micro USB and the other side to your computer. Okay, so the very first thing you'll be doing on your computer is go ahead and download this one zip file called Android M Preview multiwindow.zip. So I'll go ahead and link it down below for your convenience. So click on the link down below in the video description and go ahead and download this to your Windows, Mac, or Linux computer and go ahead and open it up and extract it. So we're gonna click on extract all. Uh, very similar steps to Mac and Linux. If you don't know how to extract a zip folder, Google it. And we're gonna go ahead and click on extract right there. And it's gonna be a really quick extraction. And here is the folder. So make sure this folder is on your desktop. I cannot stress that enough. You will run into issues with the commands that we're gonna be doing in just a little bit. If this folder is not on your desktop, please make sure it's on your desktop. Um, and so here's the folder. And now go ahead and open a command prompt if you're on Windows or open up terminal if you're on Mac or Linux. So since I'm on Windows, I'm gonna go ahead and open a command prompt. So I'm gonna press enter and here it is. Here is command prompt right here. And we're gonna go ahead and type in CD space desktop and make sure it's a capital D enter and then we're going to type in CD space Android M capital P so capital A capital M capital P tab it'll automatically fill in the rest of the file name for you so it's going to be CD Android M preview multi-window just like that with capital letters where it says it right here enter and now this part is going to differ depending on what, what OS you're running on. So if you're on Windows, Mac, or Linux, it will be a little bit different. If you're on Windows, go ahead and type in fastboot. If you're on Mac, you're going to type in dot slash fastboot dash Mac, Mac, just like that. And if you're on Linux, you're going to type in dot slash fastboot dash Linux, just like that. Since I'm on Windows, I'm going to type in fastboot space flash space recovery space and now this part is also gonna differ depending on what device you have. Now at any point, if you're confused on what I'm saying, what I'm typing in, do not worry. I went ahead and made a written step-by-step -step guide linked down below in the video description for your convenience. So if you don't know what to type in for Mac or Windows or you don't know what to do if, since you have a Nexus 5, do not worry. Link is down below in the video description with a step-by-step -step guide for your convenience. Okay, so as you can see, here is the folder that we extracted, and you can see we have these files called TWRP. Now, each one has Flounder, Shamu, or Hammerhead, and that's the file name we're gonna be typing into command, into command prompt or terminal. So since I have a Nexus 6, we're gonna be typing in Shamu for that. If you have a Nexus 9, you're gonna be typing in this file name, and if you have a Nexus 5, you're gonna be typing in this file name. So we're gonna go ahead and start this up. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to move this over just so you can see both files. Okay, so remember it's fastboot flash recovery and then we're gonna type in one of these file names depending on what uh, device you have. Flounder is Nexus 9, Shamu Nexus 6, Hammerhead is uh, Nexus 5. So we're all gonna st uh, start by typing TWRP spa uh, dash 2.8, and it's gonna depend on what file name you have. Since I have the Shamu, mine is 2.8.6.0 dash shamu dot img enter and this is gonna go ahead and flash twerp recovery on our device so if you don't already have it or if you're not on the latest version now you have it so like i said earlier just go and type in the file name for your corresponding device and like i said earlier more details specific details will be linked down below in the video description okay so now still while you're still on this green start screen on your nexus device go ahead and press the volume down until you see recovery mode and get, then go ahead and press the power button 
and this is going to enter you into Torp recovery since we just uh, flashed that TWRP file. And we're going to go and do something real quick. Now go ahead and select a mount and make sure system is mounted and then you can go ahead and tap on home right there. So make sure all these are, uh, just make sure system specifically is uh, enabled and then go ahead and press home. And make sure your phone is still plugged in. Okay, now go ahead and go back to your command prompt or terminal window. Make sure it's still in this directory right here. And we're going to go ahead and type an adb space pull space slash system dash slash build dot prop just like that and then press enter and now it's going to go ahead and pull this file this build.prop file and it's going to move it into this folder right here so you may have seen now you have a file called a build.prop right there so now within that one folder we've been always uh, referring back to you're going to see a file called build.prop right there so what we're going to be doing is go ahead and right click on it and open it with any text editor it can be notepad it can be text edit text edit is default on mac uh, you can use notepad on windows and since i have notepad notepad plus 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 you can install this on your computer too um, since i have that installed we're going to edit this with uh with notepad plus plus and we're going to go ahead and look for a file called here it is ro.build.type equals user so make sure you go and look for that file let me go and move this up so it can see it easier um, so make sure you go and find this file and we're going to be editing editing this so we're going to make it equal user debug just like that so make sure it's just like that user debug so leave everything else alone and just type in user debug like that and then we're going to go ahead and uh, save the file so we're going to go ahead and click on file save and of course uh you know you know how to save on mac and linux they're very similar steps now go ahead and go back to your command prompt or terminal window and we're going to go ahead and finish this up so now within here make sure you're still back at this screen you know it ends in a uh, multi-window this uh, directory and then we're going to go ahead and type in adb space push space build dot prop space slash system slash so just like this, and as always, written instructions will be linked down below if you're confused. And we're going to press enter, and it's going to go and press, uh, it's going to go ahead and push this new file uh, now into our uh, device. So it looks like it's all good. And now we're going to go ahead and type in adb space shell, enter. Now type in without any spaces at the beginning, cd space system, enter. Then chmod space six four four space build dot prop just like that enter and we're done we're going to go ahead and go to our device and finish this up okay now back on your device your device might have fallen asleep don't worry about that just go ahead and press the power button and slide your phone to unlock it and now we're going to go ahead and select reboot and then system and now torp recovery might ask you if you want to install super icu select no do we do not want it it will you know mess up our phone so select do not install um, that Super SU version does not work with Android M yet, so we have to be patient. And also, if you get stuck on this screen, just give it a few seconds. If you get stuck on this screen, don't worry about that. It'll go away in five seconds, and your phone will boot up just like normal, so be patient. Okay, now go ahead and unlock your phone, and you're going to go and see those square multitask option windows right there. So those little square options which give you multitask. And now if you want to go ahead and make sure you legitimately have that, you can go ahead and go into developer options. You have to enable that, but if you don't know how to enable developer options, just Google that really quickly. And then you can go, go, go ahead and go all the way down until it says right here, um, under drawing, at the very bottom of this section, you're going to go ahead and have an option called multi-window mode. Um, it's going to be enabled by default and you're going to have it right there and now of course if you want to disable multi-window just go and easily turn this off and now your square icons that allow you to do multi-window will be disabled but we're going to obviously enable it since we want multi-window of course so now those are square options so we can go ahead and test it out again just to show you that it is working um, we can go and do that on the top and okay could not start chrome so as you can see there are some issues with this it's not fully um, functional so we can go ahead and see we can actually close all of these out, open them again. Okay, so now it looks like it's going to work. So now let's go ahead and test out multi-window. Go and tap this, do this on the top. And as you can see now, we have two apps running side by side on our Nexus M build devices. Um, like I said earlier, I work with Nexus 5, Nexus 6, or Nexus 9. And as always, all the files, links, guides, everything will be linked down below in the video description. 
If you guys did enjoy this in-depth tutorial on how to properly enable multi-window on your Android M build Nexus device, go ahead and give me a thumbs up as I do appreciate all the support you guys do give me. And while you're down there, go ahead and hit that subscribe button in the bottom left corner as well. And like I said earlier, all the download links, guides, everything will be linked down below in the video description. Until next time, peace.